Welcome back, Saab fans. Today, it's about a month after I did the first start video. It's uh, when I'm finally going to get around to changing the spark plugs. I have my torx bit here. And I need to remove the connector on the side here. I usually find these easier to take off if you use a screwdriver and pry on it. Screwdriver. This one's always so easy to get at, too. Come on. There we go. That connector out of the way. Lift up on the direct ignition cassette. And put that aside. I like to leave the DIC. I read somewhere years ago that it's best to keep it in this position, not to turn it upside down. And uh, not a long enough extension. See what we can find. Now I have looked all over my toolboxes, multiple, and I can't find my feeler gauge. So I hope that from the factory these are set to the right dimension. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Number one looks good. A little bit of oil on there. Where's that oil coming from? Uh, coming from the head gasket. I mean the valve cover gasket, yeah. Time for a new valve cover gasket. No, it's leaking around the head. It's down in there. Uh-oh. I don't want to do a head gasket, thank you. Good. Uh, by the way, these are NGK spark plugs. Where's the box? Oh, good, it's over there. Here's what they are. BCPR6 ES11 NGKs. Nicely covered up. Um, I've always read these are the best to use. This is what I've been using for the past 19 years on this car. And on two other subs, nine fives as well. Man, I 
I wish I had my feeler gauge. I don't know where the hell it is. I will find the feeler gauge before I get too far. I'll tighten it to nice and snug land. Okay. Thirty-five and a half pound feet. Now that's thirty-six right there. Good. Okay. Now all that's left to do is to put the direct ignition cassette DIC back in position. Make sure it's over the plugs. Okay. Oh, it's not going. Why aren't you going? Because oh, you're not in position. There we go. All right. Torx screws back in. Okay. Put the electrical connection back in place, and she should be good to go. Make sure it's on. Yep, it's good. Screwdriver. Oh, well, that's the plugs it. Plugs have changed. Oh, and by the way, I did find my feeler gauge and I did check all of the gaps. They were almost perfect. One of them was a little bit tight. So they're all set for, uh, hang on, what is it? Between 1 and 1.1 millimeters. And I think that's what the 11 means in the BP, BCPR6ES11. I think the 11 stands for 1.1 millimeters. So let's turn it over, see if she starts. That would be nasty if it didn't. Also, and also note that I changed the windshield wiper arms around. I find sometimes, for some reason, I want to swap the, the arms around just to give them, I don't know, better wear and tear, I don't know. But it seems like that one works best on the left side, and this one works best on the right side. And I should keep it that way, or left and right, depending on which way you want to look at it. The driver's side here in North America, passenger side here in North America. Don't swap them around. They get set to where they are. So she's all set for the summer, I hope. Take care. If you like the video, leave a, a thumbs up down below. 
I hope you have fun with your Saab or your car, whatever it might be. Bye for now.